Early stage diabetic foot ulcer. Causes, symptoms, treatment, and prevention tips. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm your trusted diabetes expert, here to provide you with valuable information about managing diabetes. In today's video, we will be discussing a topic that is of great concern to many individuals living with diabetes, early-stage diabetic foot ulcers. We will explore the causes, symptoms, treatment options, and prevention tips to ensure you have a comprehensive understanding of this condition. Segment 1. Understanding Early-Stage Diabetic Foot Ulcers To begin, let's define what exactly an early-stage diabetic foot ulcer is. Foot ulcers are open sores that can develop on the feet of individuals with diabetes due to various factors, including poor blood circulation, nerve damage, and impaired wound healing capabilities. Early stage foot ulcers are those that are just starting to form and have not yet progressed to a more severe stage. Segment 2. Causes of Early Stage Diabetic Foot Ulcers Now that we understand what early stage diabetic foot ulcers are, let's delve into the causes. One of the primary causes of foot ulcers in individuals with diabetes is peripheral neuropathy, a condition that damages the nerves in the extremities, including the feet. When nerves are damaged, individuals may not feel pain or discomfort, leading to unnoticed injuries that can progress into ulcers. Another contributing factor is poor blood circulation. Diabetes can cause blood vessels to narrow and restrict blood flow, resulting in reduced oxygen and nutrient supply to the feet. Without adequate blood flow, wounds heal slowly, making individuals more susceptible to developing foot ulcers. Segment 3. Symptoms of Early Stage Diabetic Foot Ulcers Let's move on to the symptoms of early stage diabetic foot ulcers. It's crucial to be aware of these signs, as early detection and intervention can prevent the ulcers from worsening. Common symptoms include 1. Redness or discoloration around the affected area. 2. Swelling or inflammation. 3. Increased warmth in the area. 4. Persistent or spreading pain. 5. A foul odor or discharge from the ulcer. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is essential to seek medical attention promptly to prevent complications. Segment 4. Treatment Options for Early Stage Diabetic Foot Ulcers Now, let's discuss the treatment options available for early stage diabetic foot ulcers. Treatment aims to promote healing, prevent infection, and reduce the risk of complications. It typically involves 1. Wound care, cleaning and dressing the ulcer to maintain a moist environment conducive to healing. Your healthcare provider may suggest using specific dressings or topical medications to aid in the healing process. 2. Offloading, relieve pressure on the affected area by using special footwear, orthotics, or crutches. This helps reduce strain on the foot and promotes healing. 3. Infection management. If an infection is present, antibiotics may be prescribed to combat the bacteria and prevent it from spreading. 4. Blood sugar control. Maintaining optimal blood sugar levels is crucial for wound healing. Your healthcare provider may adjust your diabetes medications or insulin regimen to ensure stable glucose control. 5. Advanced therapies. In some cases, advanced therapies like growth factors, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or bioengineered skin substitutes may be recommended to accelerate healing. Segment 5. Prevention Tips. Prevention is always better than cure, and the same applies to early-stage diabetic foot ulcers. Here are some essential tips to help you prevent their occurrence. 1. Daily Foot Inspection. Inspect your feet thoroughly every day for any signs of redness, blisters, or cuts. If you have difficulty seeing the bottom of your feet, use a mirror or ask a family member for assistance. 2. Proper foot hygiene. Wash your feet daily with mild soap and lukewarm water, ensuring to dry thoroughly, especially between the toes. 3. Moisturize. Apply a moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated, but avoid applying it between the toes to prevent excessive moisture buildup. 4. Trim toenails carefully. Cut your toenails straight across and avoid cutting them too short to prevent ingrown nails and subsequent infections. 5. Wear appropriate shoes and socks. Opt for well-fitting shoes made of breathable materials. 
Avoid tight or pointed shoes that can compress your toes. Additionally, wear clean, moisture-wicking socks to reduce the risk of fungal infections. 6. Regular Foot Exams Schedule regular foot exams with a podiatrist or healthcare provider to monitor your foot health and address any concerns promptly. That brings us to the end of today's video on early-stage diabetic foot ulcers. Remember, early detection, proper treatment, and preventive measures are key to managing this condition effectively. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to consult your healthcare provider. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. Stay tuned for more informative content related to diabetes management. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care of your feet and keep managing your diabetes with confidence.